Hey, how's it going guys? It's your boy Yashve Gaming. Well, if you're in Shrek, guys, I would like you to kill me and smash that little subscribe button and also to ring that bell notification, okay? So, without any further ado, guys, in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to show you how um, I'm gonna update my CPU BIOS, okay? I currently have this AMD Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, okay? So, what you need to do is you have to google search your motherboard okay your motherboard i have this x70 uh this one uh gigabyte x uh 570s aorus pro ax revision one one you can find the revision number um it's on your motherboard it's basically located on your motherboard okay so you have to take a closer look um, okay so you gonna click this um now depending on whatever website maybe you have asus motherboard or maybe gigabyte okay whatever is rock okay as rock whatever so you gonna click support so once you're in support you wanna select the driver os so i'm on windows 11 64 bit okay so i'm gonna scroll down and here as you can see bios i'll click this and right now as you can see is the latest bios for this optimized performance for uh 5800x 3d okay is this cpu so i'm gonna have to download this bios version f5b okay this one is the latest uh click the download button Right, what? Okay, so, right. So now, all you all you have to do is to extract this. Okay. Oh shit. Yeah. So all you have to do is extract. So I'm just gonna create a new folder on my desktop. Okay, a blank folder, an empty folder, and all I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag all of this and put it right here. Okay. So it's right here. All right. And now all you gotta do is to insert a usb thumb drive a usb pen drive onto your pc okay in your pc okay so once inserted make sure that you format the usb thumb drive and make sure that it is a fat 32 or fat 16 all right here the volume label you can give it any name okay you can put any name like i don't know and make sure that quick format is ticked and click the start button click ok mm -hmm. All right. Next, what you need to do is all you have to do is to drag and drop this. This is a BIOS, um, the BIOS version and the BIOS file, right? All you have to do is to drag only the BIOS version. You don't need to rename it to gigabyte.bin. You don't need to do all of that. Okay, just drag this and put it and copy it. Okay, you can drag and drop or you can right click copy and paste okay it's the same thing all right so once you're here all you have to do is to click this q flash button F8 okay click here and it should um, say something like this all right so just click and select this one and click here okay here it says are you sure to update BIOS it, yes and whatever you do that make sure that you don't 
turn off your PC, you don't remove the USB thumb drive, okay? Alright, so just click the start button and right now we are currently updating BIOS, okay? Okay, so after you've successfully done it, you're gonna see your PC is going to get restarted, okay? So all you have is to just wait. And then you'll have to re-enter BIOS and you'll have to load uh, optimized default. So press F2 once again. Okay, so what you need to do, you have to click on easy mode and then click here, load optimized default and hit yes. Alright. Yeah, this too. Uh, save and exit click this and your PC is going to get restarted okay so open rebooted okay open reboot all you have is to reboot into BIOS and as you can see uh, here it says XMP disable and here everything is running on 2400 frequency but I'm gonna have to change this. Okay, I want it to run at 3600 frequency. Alright, so make sure that you choose advanced mode first. Alright, so this is where you will be able to control stuff like this. If you want to disable it, I want to enter profile one. 